Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Ledger Nano S. So let's dive in. So a lot of people out there are uh, curious about the Ledger Nano S. They'd like to buy a Ledger Nano S. Uh, they've watched a few of my videos on how to use the Ledger Nano S, but I haven't done a video yet on doing the initial setup. So I thought it was high time that I did that. So let's get going, guys. Okay, here's our Ledger Nano S, and we're going to open this guy up first. All right. Okay, so this is the Ledger Nano S. This is what it looks like when you first open it up. It's uh, basically a USB flash drive uh, at its heart, but it's much more than that. Okay, and uh, you'll get this little welcome kit here. And here uh, is the cable. And you get a little few uh, attachments here, a key ring, uh, you know, various ways to uh, carry around your Ledger Nano S. All right, and this is the welcome pack. All right, so uh, here's our little welcome. A cryptographic mechanism checks the integrity of your Ledger device internal software each time it is powered on. The secure element chip prevents any interception or physical replacement attempt. Ledger devices are engineered to be tamper proof. It's a beautiful little device, right? Uh, let's see. This guy uh, tells me to go to their website to get started. Follow the instructions to configure. But here is our important item. Okay, this is the recovery sheet. And as you can see here, it uh, gives you uh, space to write down 24 words. Now, when you first uh, set up the, the Ledger Nano the very first time, you're going to want to go through the process of uh, filling out this recovery sheet. This is very important. And once you've done that, you will always be able to restore the Ledger Nano S to its uh, original pristine condition. Okay, so I'm going to take you up the, uh, I'm going to take you through the initial setup of the Ledger Nano S. Uh, this is it. Trust in numbers. Okay, and then when you plug it in, you're going to get the welcome screen. All right, and uh, we're going to press both buttons to begin. Okay, so after the first initial welcome screen, you'll hit both buttons and choose configure as new device by hitting the button above the check. And the first thing it'll want you to do is create a pin code. I like to write it down on a piece of paper first so I don't forget it while I'm entering it. And you use the buttons up and down to choose your pin code. After the fourth number, you'll see a check, but I like to choose an eight number pin code. And of course, you'll need to confirm your pin after you've entered it the first time. So just enter the same pin code again. Okay, so now we're ready to move into the most important step of the setup procedure, writing down our recovery phrase. So as you can see, the first word is showing, and what we need to do is take our recovery card that came in the box, and we need to write down every single word in this 24-word sequence on the card. Uh, we'll use the buttons on the Ledger Nano to advance to the next word, and when we're finished, we'll have a total of 24 words written down on this card. When we're completely finished and uh, we get to the last word, we hit both buttons and we're taken to the home screen where we see all of the default apps that come standard on the Ledger Nano. Okay, so now that we've completed the initial setup of the Ledger Nano S uh, and we've uh, written down our recovery phrase. We want to take this recovery phrase and put it in a safe place uh, in your house somewhere, separate from the Ledger Nano. That goes without saying. And uh, we might even want to make a copy of this and put it in an off-site location 
uh, your parents' house, your brother's house, uh, safety deposit box, somewhere where it would be safe if uh, you suffered fire or flood or anything like that. Because this really uh, is going to be the key uh, to all of your wallets. Um, so at any point in time, even if you lose the Nano, uh, you can just buy a new one and use this key to restore. Uh, and I have a great video on doing the restore. So uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, we need the Ledger apps. So let's head over and get those. And these are all of the official Ledger Nano apps that you're going to need to uh, use your Ledger Nano. Uh, make sure you get them from the Ledger website. Uh, I've heard that there are some faux uh, apps or wallets for the Ledger Nano that may be around on the, the Google Play Store or whatever. Make sure you get your apps here. Okay, so the first thing we want is the Ledger Wallet uh, Bitcoin and Altcoin. All right, and we just uh, download that. We're going to install. And just choose Add to Chrome. Just uh, choose Add App. Okay, and there you go. So you see now that it's listed in your uh, Chrome apps. All right, so let's say you're somewhere else checking them out. Uh, over here in the corner, uh, you've got your little apps that'll take you back uh, to the Ledger Wallet apps. So you, if you need to launch them. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, let's take it back a, a notch here. We're gonna get the, the Ethereum Wallet, which is also a Chrome app. We just choose Install, Add to Chrome let it do its thing and boom there we go we've got the ledger wallet ethereum we're also want to uh, we also want to get the ledger manager uh, this is not a wallet but it is uh, an interface where we can uh, enable and disable uh, the different apps for the different altcoins so we want to get that that one to Chrome and there we go uh, these are all the the Chrome apps that you're going to need for uh, basic wallet there are a couple of other things that you could add uh, some authenticators and whatnot I'm not going to go into that one today uh, and then if you've got ripple you'll want to get their ripple app all right uh, and these are all at the ledger wallet apps uh, website so we'll uh, click this one now the Ripple app is a bit different. The, uh, the Ripple app is a Windows app, right? So when we download that, all right, it's going to open up a window here. So uh, we can just drop this into our downloads if we need to, if we want to. I, of course, already had it. All right, and then we can uh, just go down here to Show in Folder. Take a look at this guy. Uh, as you can see, this is the latest version. There was an earlier version, so uh, you'll want to make sure that you get the latest version that says 1.03 uh, at least. <laughs> well, we just double click that guy. Take it through. and we're ready to roll. Uh, okay, so the next thing we wanna do is uh, connect the ledger to the computer. All right, and so the first thing it's gonna wanna ask, uh, it's, it's gonna require of us is this pin that we set up. Okay, uh, so when we enter the pin, we're gonna be taken to the home screen of the Ledger Nano, and uh, there are the different apps there. So uh, you're going to have to remember that when you're checking a particular wallet, you need to enter in the uh, proper Ledger Nano app before you launch the wallet. So uh, we're going to go to Bitcoin first. Uh, we choose the uh, app that we're interested in. We hit both buttons at the same time. And uh, so now we're going to need to launch the appropriate wallet. So uh, go over here. 
uh, go over here to apps and we've got our Chrome apps over here. Now the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. Yeah, when we downloaded this thing, you'll notice that the title of the, the uh, wallet is Ledger Wallet Bitcoin and Altcoins. So that's where you're going to go to check your balance on uh, Litecoin, Dash, uh, Bitcoin Cash, all those other altcoins that uh, are not Ethereum or Ripple. Okay, so it's a little misleading, especially when you get to this point and all you see is Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. So just remember, uh, when you want to check your Litecoin balance, uh, you'll go into the Litecoin app here and you'll launch the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. Uh, but at this point, we're just going to go in and uh, check what our balance is. All right, so this is the first screen. Uh, we're going to use Bitcoin in this case. Uh, I'm going to use Legacy. You can choose either one. And boom, there you go. You got a nice, clean, empty Bitcoin wallet. All right, so let's try something else. Uh, let's close this guy. And uh, let's go back up here. And uh, let's exit the Bitcoin app. All right, we hit both keys here. And let's check Litecoin. So Litecoin is already on here. Let's just uh, enter that. And we'll go over here to Apps and we'll launch the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. Keep in mind that uh, we're checking Litecoin because we entered Litecoin in here. And so when we get to the wallet, we'll choose Legacy or Segwit depending on uh, the balance that you're interested in. All right, and there you go. It, even though it says that it's a Bitcoin wallet, you'll see that the balance here reflect, reflected uh, are the Litecoins that you own. And this would be uh, the Litecoin address that you would uh, give out if you were going to have someone send you Litecoin or if you were moving Litecoin from one of your exchanges into the wallet. All right, so let's check out another app. Let's go to our Ethereum. First, we have to exit out of Litecoin. And let's go back to the home page here. And let's check out Ethereum. Okay, and uh, then we just go back to our browser here. And in this case, we're going to choose the Ledger Wallet Ethereum. Launch that guy. And we'll choose ETH. You could choose ETH Ethereum Classic if you uh, had some of that somewhere. Now, mind you, this is our, uh, you know, this is our initialization. These wallets are empty at this point, but I'm just showing you how you get access to each one. All right, so there we go. Now we have an ETH wallet with a zero balance. And uh, the, the controls are slightly different here, but this is send or, and receive. So this is the ETH address that you would give out if uh, someone wanted to send you ETH or you wanted to uh, move ETH from, say, Coinbase or Bittrex or uh, Binance or whatever uh, into this wallet. This, this is the most important thing, the receiving address. You want stuff coming in, right? <laughs> you want to fill this wallet up. Uh, okay, so let's check out Ripple. Now, Ripple is uh, a Windows app. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is uh, make sure we're in the Ripple app. So we'll exit out of the Ethereum. All right, and let's go over here to Ripple. All right, and once we've entered into Ripple, we'll go back over here to our desktop and we're going to launch the Ripple. Well, let's see, I'm going to have to look for it, it looks like. Here we go. Ledger Wallet Ripple. Uh, we can even uh, pin this guy to our taskbar if we want. So uh, we'll have access to it. So we'll launch that Ripple app. I don't know why. I keep praying that there's some balance in these. I don't know. <laughs> it's like the, uh, I'm, I'm hoping to win the lottery with never without buying a ticket, right? But there, yeah, so, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. All right, so we're, uh, we have an empty balance uh, for our Ripple. And uh, just like the other wallets, you've got to send and receive over here. And this is the receive address that you would give out uh, to a friend that wants to send you Ripple, or uh, you would use it if you were moving Ripple from, say, an exchange. 
currently Coinbase doesn't support Ripple, uh, but uh, hopefully they will soon. But uh, let's say you've got some Ripple on Binance or Bittrex or Poloniex or wherever you may have some Ripple. This is the address that you would use if you wanted to withdraw Ripple from those online wallets and place it safely in the Ledger Nano S. All right. So those are the three big ones. Uh, let's say you've got some Dash. Okay. All right. So uh, I got some Dash. Well, I don't have Dash on this guy. So I need to enable Dash support. So I'm just going to go over here to Ledger Manager. Oh, uh, what you're going to need to do is exit out of the uh, Ripple app. And we're back at the home screen. When we're back at the home screen here, uh, you'll see that the Ledger Manager comes up. And these are all of the coins. Uh, the apps for the different coins that you can store on the Ledger Nano right now. Okay. Oh, they even have Bitcoin Gold. Yeah, it's cool stuff. All right. So uh, we're going to add some Dash. We're going to add a Dash of Dash. All right. We just go over here and click Download. And it's going to ask to confirm on the Ledger Nano. We just hit the little button and let it install. Oops, okay, so here we go, first obstacle. There's not room for dash on here, so we're gonna need to take something else off. All right, so uh, let's continue. Let's go over here to, say, Ripple. Let's say I don't have any Ripple on here, uh, and I wanna take this app off, that's one reason. Uh, or we've got some Ripple on this guy already, and we just need to make room for a different app. So we can take the Ripple app off of the Ledger Nano without removing the private keys of a Ripple wallet. I know it's a little strange, but you have room on this uh, for all kinds of altcoin wallets. But in order to use the apps, you have to sort of shuffle in and out because there's not room for all of the apps. But if I just remove the Ripple app, does not mean that I've destroyed the Ripple that may have been in there. Okay. All right, so now that we've removed the Ripple app, let's see if we've got room for Dash now. A Dash of Dash. Okay, we already did a confirmation. <laughs> Come on. All right, so it's really giving us a hard time today, isn't it? Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to take Litecoin off. I'll take the Litecoin off. All right, so now let's see what we got here. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Okay, so hopefully we got room for uh, <laughs> Dash. All right, so we're going to hit the download. And is it asking us for a confirmation this time? No. All right, so that was successful. So let's check it out. Now, in order to check our Dash balance or to move Dash in or out, we're going to go into the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin. If you remember, this app covers Bitcoin and altcoins. So we're just going to click that. And we're going to enter into the Dash app. Uh, all right, so we just go over here to Settings. And we're into Dash here. All right, let's check this guy out. Let this wallet synchronize. And there we go. Now you can see that we, are, we got a Dash balance. We can receive Dash. All right, that's the QR code. That's the Dash address. And uh, we can uh, send and receive Dash here. All right, and uh, let's see. At this point, let me exit out of this. And uh, let me show you that you can go back. I'm going to have to exit out of Dash. Or no, I think I'm back at the home screen, right? Uh, I can take Dash off now if I want. Even if I had Dash in there, remember, uh, your private keys never go away. I can remove Dash and put my Litecoin back on there. Or my Ripple, either. It doesn't really matter. As long, whatever configuration works best and is most convenient for you. 
let's say you only have a couple of different coins on there, uh, maybe just Bitcoin, ETH, and Light, Litecoin, then you're good to go. Uh, let's say you've got Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, and uh, nothing else, then you just need those two apps. So it's entirely up to you how you want to configure this guy. All right, let's see. Did I put Litecoin back on there? Yeah, I sure did. Okay, so let's hit both. Go back into Litecoin. And uh, you need to get out of this wallet, right, the manager, and go back into the uh, ledger wallet Bitcoin. All right. Go back here. And, and we're back to Litecoin. Okay. So once again, you can move the apps on and off. You can delete them off. You can add new ones. You can delete those back off again. Any coin that you move in when you're using an app, if you've got the Dash app and you've moved some Dash in there, you can safely remove the Dash app and it will not destroy your Dash coins that are stored on the wallet. So you can store all of these altcoins on this device. Uh, you just can't install all of the apps on the device at the same time. You kind of have to shuffle. That's one of the limitations of this little guy. But for all that it does, that's a, you know, that's, that's a minor issue as far as I'm concerned. So there we go. So uh, now you're ready to start moving coins in and out. And uh, I hope you enjoy your Ledger Nano. Okay, so I wanted to do a quick short segment on how to reset the Ledger Nano S. So if you want to do recovery or you want to do an initial setup, you'll need to do a reset of the device. You just uh, disconnect, <laughs> disconnect the device and uh, just plug it right back in again. And when we get to the initial uh, screen, we're going to just put in a bad pin, right? And we're going to do that twice. Just any old pin will do. When you get to the four pin, you can hit both buttons. And uh, it's going to tell you that it's an invalid pin. And then just try again. Doesn't really matter what you put in as long as it's wrong. All right. And then boom. Okay. So it tells you to use your recovery sheet if you wish to restore. Now that we've entered the pin incorrectly three times, uh, we've reset the device. So uh, we just plug it back in again. All right, and then we get to this initial welcome screen. And uh, I should point out that you are perfectly ready to uh, set it up as a new device. All right, all you have to do is hit the little uh, check mark there to set it up as a new device. If you want to recover it uh, to a different device, <laughs> uh, just hit the X right here no right here <laughs> hit the X and then uh, it gets you to the recovery so that that's a little bit uh, you may not know that that's there so if you want to do a recovery you just hit X when it asks you to set it up as a new device and then you can do the recovery and uh, I already have a video on how to do recovery and uh, in this video I showed you how to set it up from scratch so uh, that's all you have to do to reset it. Just enter the pin incorrectly three times. Uh, make sure you have your recovery phrase written down if you do such a thing. Don't be weird. On, don't get weird on me. Tell me that Rex told me how to uh, reset my device and now I lost all my stuff. Okay. The recovery phrase is key to restoring the device. But you could have multiple recovery devices and multiple configurations on this guy. Every time you do a reset, it generates a new random recovery phrase. So you could have multiple recovery phrases on here. And then you could store Bitcoin in each one. And let's say you have one particular recovery that's got a lot of Bitcoin in it or a lot of uh, Ethereum or Litecoin. You just take that recovery phrase from that configuration and store it in a super, super safe place and then restore this device as new and just use it for small amounts. Anybody comes 
grabs your uh, Ledger Nano, puts a gun to your head, and tells you to enter the password, all they're going to find is the small balances, right? All right, and then they take your ledger and they go uh, withdraw your small balances, but you have safely stored away a recovery sheet that's got your major balances in it. Just go out and buy yourself a new ledger and restore to that. That's the beauty of this device, okay? So uh, enough about that. Uh, enjoy your Ledger Nano. Thanks for watching. If you uh, like this video, give me a like. If you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And uh, when you subscribe, you have the option of hitting the little uh, bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified whenever I post new videos. Once again, thanks for watching and Happy New Year, everybody.